Hey everybody, Anakis here, and we're playing some Crash Landing. Welcome back. Another episode. Hopefully we won't die. I gotta be honest with you. I've died twice prepping for today. <laughs> stupid, stupid stuff. So, what I did while I was offline, not recording, I put in some nooks on the corners. I was trying to figure out... Hang on. Let's not... Where's my dagger? There it is. Okay, it's slot slot one. Um, let's not risk ourselves. I, these little corners here uh, were open. Um, I don't know. I guess I was lazy. I didn't put anything in them. And I think that's how the spiders were getting up. I mean, I know there's a flying spider, but I was getting all kinds of spiders. Suck it. Um, jumping in here. And actually, I got killed twice today by spiders. But it's okay, because I've got power... And I've got clones, and ooh, look at that guy. Ooh, he's big. You, get out of here. Oh, no, don't. Dang it. Uh, that's okay. It's going to end up in the thing. In the thing and stuff. You big. You big, go away. Nobody likes you. Seriously, though, i got to find a way to get rid of all these spiders. They're just driving me insane. A couple, a couple of things I want to do today, actually. I'd like to finish the conveyor belts back here. I don't have any made. I don't actually have any rubber left. Thing. That's a thing. It's a thing we gotta think about. Uh, how make rubber automated, preferably. Cat left us a lunchbox. She was on this week. She's not here right now. I don't know where she is. She was in London last time I, last time I talked to her. Um, so she gave us some apple jelly sandwiches, a PB and J, some orange jelly sandwiches, and some uh, breaded pork chops, which I don't know. How, uh, must be tofu because we don't have pigs. Uh, and some grape juice. Mm. So we're all set. We got, like, food for days. Uh, wow. Okay, that's cool. Um, first thing I need to do today... I've been thinking about this for a while. Here's my inventory. This is your inventory, uh... On Crash Landing. And it's a mess. So I was thinking to myself, do I have enough string to make golden bag of holding. I guess we can pop that too. Get that out of here. Get out of here, chest! And I think we do... Oh, that's my chisel. I need that. Uh, I think we have enough... Oh, hey, there's more, even more string in there. There we go. Um, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to make a golden bag of holding, which is going to help for possibly episode 2. If I really feel that brave, I, I don't want to do episode, well, the next episode without assistance. So let's take a look at golden bag. So there's two bags you can make. The first bag requires four wool blocks. I think it's of any color. Jesus, it looks like colored wool. Tell me that's not the case. If that is the case, we're screwed. Um, and also, I should have brought it down with me. I need a chest, and then I need some things, and stuff, and things, and then we're going to have a thing with some stuff in it that we could put, preferably, stuff. Uh, oh, and that reminds me, two camel packs. Look at me. Look at me getting smart, right? Oh, and I killed an Enderman. <laughs> look at, yeah, look at my beautiful face. It looks pretty good, you know? It's kind of nice, because my hair is getting gray and stuff, and it's like, it's nice to have like a black head of hair. Enderman hair, I guess. I don't actually think they have hair. Okay, so, uh, what was the recipe? Mm hmm. I think this isn't gonna work. I think we're gonna have to dye this wool, which is really gonna suck. Make me sad, actually. And then I'm gonna cry. And then you're gonna feel bad. Oh, let's get the ores going again. Did I show you guys this before? Real simple, right? Yeah, uh, stuff, hopper, furnace, hopper, chest. And then you just gotta climb up to the... I moved this down, it was really high up, which was stupid. It's because I dug out all the dust underneath it. As you climb up here, get your lava. I should probably lower that tank. I'll look at that. Good suggestion, thank you very much. Um, so we're gonna put that in there. It's gonna continue to cook stuff. And I'm looking for some gold that might be done, which is probably in this iron chest because I moved it downstairs. So we need four, uh, four gold. Is that gonna work? Cross your fingers! Shit. Oh, it's a gold block. Aha. Aha. Oop. Hello. 
Do you think I wasn't gonna notice that? I I noticed. I'm savvy that way. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not actually. There we go. Look at that. That's a really expensive bag. Um, it's basically the equivalent of carrying a chest around, and then you can actually upgrade it, right? You can make these magical woods. Uh, but I. I do have some emeralds. I don't know if I have that many emeralds. I don't think I have. We would need a lot. Uh, and books, I don't have a lot. So, anyway, look at this. Woo -hoo. So, we can put our shovel in here. We can put our saw, our shears, the glass bottles. We can put things that we probably don't need from moment to moment. The dolly. I'm going to drink some coffee. I love I love coffee. Guys, I love coffee. Really? I mean, this is what gets me going. This is what makes me make make the things that I make and things for you guys. It's coffee. It's fantastic. It gave me a jump boost. I can jump really high now. Because <laughs> I'm high! High on caffeine! Okay, so anyway, uh, today... Holy crap. We're going to make a survivalist generator. I know we did this before. We need to make a second one. Also, we need to make a hopper. Can we borrow a hopper for something? Is there possibly... Uh, we don't need a hopper. We could probably use this servo here and some item duct. We're going to do that. Uh, we need a chest. Probably need a chest. Let's go make a chest. I had a lot of coffee. I'm feeling really psyched. I'm psyched. You psyched? I'm pretty psyched. Okay. Let's go get some wood. Two of those guys, because I don't like birch. It's ugly. I know. What? Like, it's just lighter than regular wood, but I don't like it. For some reason, birch really bothers me a lot. I've never been able to use it in anything. It's just me. Okay, I need a chest, and the reason for this is that what we're going to do is we're going to make... How do you make a survivalist generator? I think there's redstone uh, involved. Yeah, okay, iron, redstone, cobble, stuff, and things, which is no problem. We can we can do this. Actually, I think there's cobble. We're going to take you, sort, uh, and then down here is nothing. Hello! <laughs> what was that? That's a creeper plant thing going to explode. Okay, so we need a furnace. Making a furnace right now. Woo! Except for there. Don't want that. Uh, uh huh. Like so. And it's like boom. No. Nope. <laughs> Why can't I not do that? I guess you have to have. Holy crap! Must be morning. Wow! Shush! Shush it! Sorry, I don't mean to yell, but you know, like really. Okay, so. I don't know math. Uh, we need one iron. And we need... What else do we need? A couple of redstone, which I put in this barrel. Handy dandy barrel. I've made some barrels, by the way. Because you know what? As it turns out, you accumulate quite a bit of crap in this pack. Okay, so we've got another survivalist generator. We've got uh, a couple of pipes, which is enough. Mm, we'll grab all the wood on the way up. I kind of wish the stuff was in the base. I still don't like going outside the base. It makes me nervous, and I kind of don't enjoy it because I'm always worried that maybe gas are going to drop crap on me. Does that make sense? Because I feel like they're trying to kill me. Possibly. Because they are kind of trying to kill me. Not possibly, like a lot. Like, seriously. I actually got a letter from a gas the other day, and it said, I'm trying to kill you. Please go outside more. And I was like, nope. I'm not going to listen to you, jerk face. Wow, I don't know what happened there. It's not daytime. Uh, so we're outside in the dangerous dark, and the skeletons are going to start shooting at us. So what I'm thinking is we are going to do something like this. Wow, that's awful. No. I don't have OCD, but I do need to fix that. <laughs> Orientation's everything, guys. You know? You've got to be oriented correctly. And you can't be like that. You can't be sideways. You can be frontwards or backwards. That's fine. But sideways, no. And then what we're going to do is make things more complicated, which is still going to require us to go outside. Actually, you know what? Mm. Yeah, for now it's going to be... Oh, fuck. Get the hell out of here. Wow. Holy crap. Any more jackasses like that out here? Nope. Wow. 
What a dick. Wow. That was just such a jerk face. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're moving on. So, uh, for now, we're going to have this outside, but later on, I want to move this because I don't like it out here because of guys like that guy. He, that was not cool. That was mean, right? So, pump empty hand. I'm going to turn that on by doing this. Blacklist nothing, which is fine. And then what we do is we stick all the slabs in there. And now, if I'm right, yeah, look at that. Generator. So what we can do is we can overpile this, just stick it full of stuff and things and stuff, and then that's going to produce a ton of power. And I don't have a crafting table out here, but I have a lot more wood. And I know I need wood for things and stuff and things, but I don't actually have a plan for all this wood right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going, oh, shit. Oh, we can burn those two, actually. Now that I think about it. Not what I wanted to make. Uh, if anybody needs a stack and a half of pressure plates or whatever I made, let me know in the comments below, and I will I will put those in an envelope and send them to your crash landing. I can do it. I swear. There. Power for days. I have to kill some skeletons, and I don't really want to go out there because I don't really like going outside. They'd all be dead now, anyway. You, you just cock your head at me. What a guy. No. Nobody likes you, creeper guy. Yeah, this has been good. Spider's not climbing over the nooks. Seems okay. All right. Uh, what's next? Survivalist generator done. Lots of slabs done. Spiders shut up. Well, I have an idea for spiders, and I hate them, but I really do need to get more conveyor belts out there. Maybe we'll save that for the next episode. So, hello. I'm stuck. Uh, where am I going? Pneumaticraft! That's where I'm going. Let's go downstairs. Downstairs is looking nice. A cat put in a kitchen down here. I thought about bringing the greenhouse down. But she put a kitchen, so I'm thinking now I'm going to move the greenhouse and I'm going to bring it above ground, which is going to be super cool. And probably require I move those generators. Yep, maybe. Yep, a little bit. That's okay. That's okay, right? I think that's okay. Let's eat some garlic chicken. And maybe... How much is an apple jelly sandwich worth? Quite a bit. Uh, maybe some scrambled eggs. Like I like eggs with my chicken. Right? Compliments it. Um, okay, so. Pneumaticraft. I've been working on this. That's what this is all about. Compressed cobblestone. Why? TNT cannot blow it up. So check this out. Remember we blew that hole in the, uh, the dust stuffs last episode? Which was kind of like awesome. But at the same time I had to fill it all in because it was a Pain in the ass. Oh shit. Uh, put that. Get my pickaxe. Put that there. Now I've made life complicated by where is my pickaxe? No, nope, it's right there in my hotbar, which is why I didn't see it. Okay. Pop that out. Put that there. And then what we can do is we can put some TNT here, and we're gonna drop a stack of this stuff because you need a lot. There's a quest for this, but. Boom! Um, but the quest is really simple, and I need water. And I also need to put that torch back. Right there. The quest is really simple. The quest is... Let's take a look at it here. One plastic, I think. Under pressure... There's two quests. This one here, it's done. Let's claim that. Woohoo! Four iron. For compressed iron, and then there's heating up, which we did last episode, and then there's this. Uh, there's two parts to it, though. There's making it, uh, putting it together, which is one of each block, and making it work, and you need a plastic. Well, you know what? You cannot build a pneumaticraft thing with, like, three blocks. <laughs> I tried. I can't do it. I'm gonna get some water. Uh, which I put my... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's caused me so much confusion. Oh my god. There we go. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. No, wait, four. And then this guy. And then a little bit of this and that and this and that. And then one of those. And then we're good. Okay. Perfect. And we can put this back in there. And also this. And probably that. And possibly this as well. Uh, but I'll keep that. Uh, okay, so. 
and we'll get a little bit more leaf blocks and then we'll just put the rest in there okay so basically what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make the pneumatograph thing I have a little bit of glass left over so we can make more windows I have some stone if we need it there's lots of compressed iron now that we've made almost a full stack plus I had some from before plus I have a few blocks holy crap I have lightning plant seeds I didn't even know but all we need is the green stuff for now so let's take a look at uh, pneumatic no, pen penaticraft pneumatic okay so we want to make pressure chamber walls that's easy let's make a few more of those I think what we need to do is a three by three by three so we're gonna need 18 for the top and the bottom and then we're gonna need another four for the center so that's 22 and then we're gonna need four windows which we already have we have four blocks already so if we make 18 more blocks we should be good that was math in my head uh, one two three four well I guess we'll make 20 uh, and then we want to make some fancy valves and stuff like that too and we're gonna do that now I don't think we're gonna ha we could expand this later if we want like we can make a bigger system put my pickaxe in the bag didn't I mm-hmm do we want to build this here I guess so why not right I gotta remove this. Um, let me remove this. We'll be right back. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it over in the corner here. Um, got the big thing out of the way. So, here's our pressure chamber walls. And we'll build the whole thing above ground. Sometimes I sink things into the ground, but not today. I only leave three, blo <laughs> three blocks of space. Why? Because I can. This is probably not enough space on the back side now that I think about it. So let's pop that. Holy crap. That takes a lot of effort. Later on, you can do these things, these input and output valves, and you need a little space to put some piping um, so that you can move, th oh, dummy, move things in and out. Um, so we want to leave at least two blocks. All the piping and chests and stuff like that, and you want to have like a space to walk around, right? This is a really small version of what you can build. So, and oh, apparently I don't know how to count because uh, I failed. Uh, I need at least two more blocks. Wow, hello. Look at me. Look at me not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> when has that ever happened? It's never. It's never a thing. Shh. Don't even say it. Okay, so there we go. Uh, and then next, let's find the rest of our blocks. We'll use this for other stuff. Also, we need some of our tubing. Which I might be upstairs. Mm -hmm. No, wait, it's in this chest. Okay, so we're gonna put some pressure chamber windows. Unfortunately, when you're a noob and you're starting out, the only way to get the contents out of this thing um, without the valves. Oh, we do have two valves. Yeah, and that's not the type of valve I'm talking about. Um, there's a different kind of input output thing that you gotta make. Do we have it on here? Uh, chamber wall, chamber window, chamber valve, not what we're looking for. This is it, interface. So you gotta make these pneumatic cylinders, which require a ton of blue plastic, which we don't have. Yeah, anyway, you can you can specify an input-output, and then you can use, like, um, item conduit to move stuff in and out. In the interim, we're gonna have to break a window and grab the contents of the inside. And that's okay, we can do that, because we're okay. We're gonna be fine. So let's... Let's, let's actually take out this window. This is gonna be our valve for now. And this is gonna allow us to move hot or steam into the pressure chamber and then we'll put a gauge on it too. And right now I only have one air compressor and that's fine. We're just starting out. Like to get the blue plastic, I actually don't know what we need. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It's gonna be freaking awesome you're gonna love it uh wow okay that's not what i was expecting uh, i thought it would connect actually how i make connect can i wrench it will you let me wrench you can i wrench you Whoop. nope bust it looks like stone but it's steel i swear i swear to god 
Uh, okay, so let's let's put uh, let's let's put. Whoop, hello. <laughs> Gauge. Mm-hmm. And we'll put like that, like that, and we'll like do this. Boop. Nope. Apparently, you gotta go. Boop. Nope. <laughs> what? There's something wrong with this. I don't know what it is, but it's not right. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just do it like this. There you go, you're down. And then we can put it right here. It's gonna be nice and easy to access. That pressure currently is zero, as you can see. You can also click on this. You can also click on this. Now, let's put our remaining bits and bobs and pieces and stuffs right in there. And then we'll get some coal. And I don't know what the best, you know, is it better to make coal blocks for this? Probably. Aren't coal blocks always better? We'll probably have to make like one of them things. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. And we, we don't need a lot. And this is like an experiment, right? So we want to build up the pressure. Um, shit, before we do that, uh, we need some green plant seeds. We probably don't need a lot. But let's make a few. Let's make 20. Because I think, I think when you look at plastic, Green plastic, specifically. I think that's green. I'm colorblind. I'm uh, <laughs> looking really carefully. Yeah, it's one seed. And you can see how big these things can be, right? Like, this is like a quite a large 3x3 three three inside. We should do that. But later. Uh, and Oh, and, and look at the pressure. The pressure needs to be around under 1. So it's not too hard. So let's do this right now. Let's pop this guy. Since we built up all the pressure that we need. Like a bunch of dummies. Ah! It's so hot! My face! Okay. And then we gotta put the window back there. Look at that. Now you're gonna pressurize in your face. It's gonna take a while. Do we have our green plastic? Because we need this. Oh yeah, look at that! Green plastic. Okay. And now this can explode, by the way. So if you let the pressure reach into the red zone, kaboom! something explodes it's really bad don't let that happen don't let that happen to you you'll regret it much like I'm gonna regret having to break this stupid block there we go uh, so we can put that back and then we can put this back we can take out the rest of the fuel we don't need it to heat up at this point and we can put all the coal back in there and maybe the coal blocks are not necessary I don't know so we have 20 plastic, green plastic. So let's take a look at the book. And that's a good one. Okay, so what reward do we want? Squid plant? Probably, that's like black plastic. You really need that. Green plastic? Hell no. Machine upgrade speed? I can make those. What am I, some kind of noobs? So we're gonna take the, oh, fuck. <laughs> Machine upgrade speed, that's what we're gonna take. Oh no, we did get the squid plants. It's just like some kind of visual glitch. Hmm? I don't know why it does that. Whatever. Oh, that's the design. Okay. It's got a blue border around it. Whew. I'm so glad. What is this? Exposure. Now we've gotten this far, we can get started on laying out the foundation for pretty much all technological progression, the PCB. To start, you simply need to toss a compressed iron and a piece of green plastic in the pressure chamber. Simple enough. And then we get a PCB. Now, as I understand it, you can take some kind of seed and mix it with a like a lapis to get the blue. Uh, so if I wanted to make rain plant, and is it rain plant? A grass seed and a lapis will make a rain plant. Not that it ever rains, um, which is kind of unfair. So we'll have to get a lot of grass seeds in order to make the blue plastic. I guess that's the idea. Okay, fair enough. So compressed iron and, wait, what was it? Compressed iron, one PCB, and a, um, what was it? <laughs> I actually don't remember. Compressed iron and a piece of green plastic. Well, shit, I've got lots of that. We're going to let all the steam out again. All the pressure. I'm feeling the pressure. Um, are you feeling the pressure? Because I personally feel that this pack 
it's got a lot of new mods that I don't know. And it's, you know, it's pretty intense. Let's make a few. Uh, and then green plastic. You just, you just did that thing to me, didn't you? You son of a bitch. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's put the window back. Ha ha! And let's watch the pressure rise. This is to make a... A what? A PCB. So, what kind of pressure do you need to make a PCB? I probably I need to go get some fuel. PCB. Oh, wow. we got to get up to one and a half. Okay, so... Get some coal. It's still burning from our previous stuff and things that we did. Piece of cake. Uh, wow. This is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make PCBs. We have to get up to two and a bit, I think. Two and a bit. Almost two. One and a bit. One and a bit. So while that's going, let's take a look in the book. Under pressure. I think we covered everything. We've got Oh, we got this one too. Raw plastic, emeralds, etching acid bu bleh, bucket. I don't even know how to make that. And a compressed iron ingot. Which is easy. How do you make an etching acid bucket? Hmm. The next big step will be making PCBs. To do that, you'll need a blueprint. Give me a few ingredients and I will set that up for you. And then over here, plastic seeds. Wow, that's a lot of text. It's just like information. Okay, so etching acid bucket. Acid. Etching acid bucket. So we need a bucket of water, two spider eyes, two green plastic, two brains, and two gunpowder. I could do that. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go get that stuff. Actually, it's right over here. Half of it should be right in this chest. Um, we need two gunpowder. Oh, I already had gunpowder on me. Oh, hey, there's my, my cartridge. Uh, and then we need two spider eyes. Two zombie brains. What, what else? A uh, bucket of water, two plastic. Okay, that's it. Bucket of water. So let's go make a bucket of water. Uh, this is interesting. I didn't... I've never really gotten this far with Pneumaticraft. We need another bucket of lava in our thing. Oh, wow. Shit. Okay. These cannot be picked up individually. Uh... Oop, 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 oop. Oh, dear. God. Okay. Do I have enough space now? Don't despawn on me. There we go. Don't worry about that steam escaping. I mean... It's not great, but, oh, wow, it's like an empty PCB. Okay, uh, let's grab a piece of wall, and let's throw in all the ingredients we need. We need some green plastic, which we have. We need a bucket of water. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, okay, so we need a bucket of water. We need some green plastic. We need... I don't remember the rest already. I've forgotten. Spider eyes, brains, and creeper gunpowder, which I put in here. Like so. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, uh, let's put that there, and then we can just go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and one. Is that right? Two. Two plastic. And then, we'll seal it up. And what's the pressure for this? One and a half. Well, it's one. It's even less than what we just did. So that's fine. That'll, that'll be no time. Uh, and then what we need... Uh, I guess this PCB. Is there more to this? I don't even... How am I do this? How am I do this? PCB under pressure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that. And then... Huh? Oh, it's... Uh, no, that's the wrong quest. Losing air. What? This one. Oh, it's done. What do we want? I think we want transistors, the black ones. Oh, wait, no, there's a step two. Empty PCB. Next up, toss the PCB into a UV light box. And then you just have to wait. Shoot. This is going to be a long video. UV light box. Uh, this. Some redstone lamps, pressure tube, a, B a PCB blueprint. I actually might have the uh, emeralds to do that. Let's go take a look. Yes, I do. Ha ha! 
I bet you thought you could stop me there, but you're so wrong, it's not even funny. Nobody's laughing. I need more water. We'll take that off. Put the new pack on. We are so going to rock this. Nothing can stop us, really. Well, spiders. But other than spiders, um, maybe me not being able to craft under pressure. Other than that, too. <sighs> Shh. Okay, and a piece of pressure tube, some redstone lamps. I have lots of glowstone. Uh, should be... It's probably upstairs, actually, but I bet you I've got a ton in here. Yes, I do. So let's make some blocks. Boop. And I actually like glowstone lamps. It's one of my favorite lighting, but the thermal expansion... Um, what do you call those things? The redstone illuminators are much better. It's like a redstone lamp, but you can turn it on with a wrench. I think that's super cool. Okay, so. Okay, three across the top, like so. Oop, hello. And then you put in, what else? Nothing. Can't do that. Can't shift click it. So we want to put this in the center, and then we want to do like a, an L shape. And then we need a piece of pressure tubing. Do I have any extra pressure tubing? I have I have a little bit. And all I need is one. And this is pneumatic craft. This is a cool mod. It's new to me. And I'm assuming this needs pressure too in order to work. So let's put it right here for now. And then we can put one of these guys in there. Um, yeah, because we're trying to make a... What? An empty PCB. So if we look at... We look at PCB. Oh, you PCB. PCB. There we go. PCB. <laughs> Shush. Uh, yeah, that's an empty one. We want it like. No, it's unassembled? I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Let's assume it's unassembled. Oh. Tell me it's not that, and I have to make all this shit. It just says empty PCB. Oh, it's a manual detect thing. Maybe I'm a fool. Do I just have to do this? No. It's got a thing on it. Maybe it needs to be etched. Uh, it's a little, it's a little vague. Uh, at this point, put in a UV light box to progress. Etch success 100%. Throw in etching acid to develop. Ah, okay, so you got to do a thing here, which does something to it. Oh, look, it's increasing. Okay, it's at 12. Oh, okay, and then you need to throw it in etching acid, and it will turn into an empty PCB. We do have our etching acid, so let's get that out of there. Uh, we're learning pneumatocraft, if you, if you just tuned in. <laughs> Together, you and I. Just you, not that other guy. He's not really paying attention. Um, so let's pop that in, and then this, we're going to be fine. This is going to work out really well. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Okay, so we lost a lot of pressure doing that. I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut. Uh, it's going to take a while. And when we return, I'm going to put the etching acid down, and we're going to have all the stuff made for things. Be right back.